Hi, this is Stuart Smith from the data management team at Greytech. This is a short video with some tips and tricks for Vault data management, specifically within Inventor. For many of you that have been using Vault over the years, you've probably noticed icons appearing as you start Inventor, and it's probably likely that you've not utilized some of this new functionality that's been introduced. So I just wanted to go through some of the options available when you open from Vault. So you may or may not be aware that you have the ability to do searches, save searches and access shortcuts. So these are all the functions that are available within Vault. But we don't necessarily need to launch the Vault Explorer, we can do live searches of data. So for example I could access a property that I want to search for in Vault. So namely I'm looking for a company. All I need to do is type in the value and then do a search and it does a live search of Vault, no need to launch Vault Explorer finds the file that I'm after immediately. Again it could just be a general search. So with this I may be needing to access this file over and over again. I can create a shortcut. That shortcut will be available in Vault Explorer and I can access it from my shortcuts. So you see it lists several shortcuts that I've built up. And if I click on any of those shortcuts it takes me straight to that data set. If I need to do an advanced search, I can bring up my advanced search module. So there's no need to switch to Vault Explorer if we want to do an advanced search and build up multiple criterias. We have that functionality available. We can also customize the interface and add any property we want. So we can utilize the data, the metadata within our files. So for example, whether something has an attachment or I want to view, again, company and also want to view material, I can add those properties to the interface. Again, making it possible for me to utilize and visualize more properties to gain more information before I open the data. Okay, so in this example I'm going to open and check out the assembly. So the next tip is to do with the Vault, the Vault browser. So many of you are already aware that we have a model browser and we can switch it to the Vault browser. So the Vault browser allows us to identify the status of files. We can see what's checked out to us and what's checked out to other people and we're getting that information and feedback. Obviously on a more complex assembly it can be very difficult to identify what's changed, what hasn't changed, uh, what's checked out by other people. So again, just a tip we have a filter available to us that's definitely underused. It allows us to choose what we want to see. So in this example I don't want to see anything other than files that are checked out to me. I don't want to see anything else. As soon as I accept this it filters the information out. Again if I want to see maybe files checked out to other people I can include that information. Again just making it more useful filtering information out so I'm seeing what's relevant. Again, if we want to work on individual components, we can do so. Just a quick tip, again, you can check out components straight from the model. So if we right-click on the component, we can go to Vault and we can do a checkout. And again, we can see it's building that information up. So really good tip. Again, you can also show local files. So you can get it to show files that um, are with and without saves. Uh, saved edits and unsaved edits. It's a really useful tool for being able to filter information out on especially on more complex assemblies. That concludes my tips and tricks for Vault.